today's video, we're looking at this data section at the top where we have the due today and due this week summaries. So this basically counts up the number of tasks that we have that are either due today or due within the week. So as you can see, as I add dates to it, so a date of today, it will add a due today section at the top here. So in order to achieve this, what we do is I've just added in the status section, some just text boxes, and then I've got two tables. So first of all, I need to unhide the columns on my original table because I need the days left column. So I've got this table here with two columns, one row, and I've put due today as a title. We're going to use count if again. So again, you can see exactly what the definition of it is there. So the test array, the section I'm going to be testing is the days left. So I'm going to select all that range because I'm going to be counting up the amount of items in this. And my first condition are things that are due today. So anything that's due today is going to come up as zero days left. So that's going to count up the amount of days that have zero uh, next to them in the days left column. So you can see this now has a one since I've added one due today. For the due this week, we're going to do the same test array, the same um, test section on the count if, but our condition changes slightly. So we're going from zero because it's going to be due this week if it's in today, and then we're going down um, to negative seven because that's how our um, counting system works that we worked on a bit earlier. If you don't know about that, you just need to go back a little bit. So now what we have at the top is when we change dates and add them in, um, if they're due within the next seven days, they'll go into our due this week. So it will start to count up those and anything that's due today will also count up in there. Then what we can do is we can just hide that column again to neaten up. We don't need to see that. And as we change, it still changes things at the top. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.